Matthew Sutton here from Verity Baptist Church Manila and Verity Baptist Church Pampanga with a quick missionary update. And I'm filming this video from our church building. I'm actually here in the mother baby room right now. And I'm down here on the at the church on Tuesday. Uh, we were celebrating our daughter's first birthday. And so a year ago today, our daughter was born. She was actually born on a Sunday, just born really right before church services. And I actually came down to the church to still preach the sermons, but I had guys that kind of filled in and just said, hey, go, go be with your wife. And then she was delivered. And, and uh, both of our babies were born on a Sunday, as were both me and my wife. So I'm sure, you know, if, if we're blessed with another child, we'll also be on Sunday. We'll see. But anyways, um, this past week was great. Uh, we, we had 121 salvations between our churches. We had 116 in Manila, and we had five in Pampanga. Now, we were in a new area in Pampanga, and... Um, I was expecting it to be great. Like, I thought we'd have awesome results. You know, we, we had just stumbled up upon it a week and a half ago, just one week before we, we uh, kind of went all out in that area. And we're like, man, this is a soul winner's paradise. And we gave the gospel plenty of times on Sunday, um, but, you know, we didn't have a lot of salvations compared to, to how we've done in other areas. But it might have been kind of flukish. I'm not really sure. There's so many houses in that area, though, and we're knocking every, every door in the vicinity. We're going to be there for a few months, and so I'm, I'm hoping to have better results this coming Sunday. But overall, church, churches uh, did well. 121 salvations. Our attendances are great. We've had new visitors. Things are going awesome. Um, you know, in terms of our salvations, uh, you know, it might seem like a lot of salvations, but on Sunday we had 28 salvations, and that's our main soul winning time. And um, you know, it was less than one salvation per person. You know, we have a lot of people going soul winning now. Um, I put up a picture on our Facebook. Um, we had, I think it was 47 people at our basketball, volleyball, badminton fellowship. And that was after we went soul winning. And so the majority of people you see in those pictures were people that had just gone soul winning prior. So, you know, we obviously, we love soul winning. We love the preaching of the word of God. We also want to have an adequate place for fellowship in our churches. It's a very important aspect. And we've got a lot more events coming up this coming year um, that we're really excited about. So we had a great time of fellowship, great soul winning, lots of results. 28 salvations on Sunday. We used to get um, 50 plus salvations on Saturday when we would go to parks all day and have a lot of soul winners. Now we don't have the same opportunities as much, although things are clearing up and things are getting better. We just have a lot more soul winners now. And so our church has grown a lot more soul winners. People are doing a lot of soul winning during the week. And you, know, you got five salvations here, four salvations, three salvations. You know, the group that goes out on Wednesday, we had like uh, 12 salvations or 13 salvations or something with our soul winning time on Wednesday. And then we had several different soul winning times on Saturday that people, um, you know, were a part of. And so, you know, it's great results, you know, 121 salvations, three straight weeks. We're hoping to keep this up of, of being able to average or get 100 salvations per week. It's great results for us. And so things are going great. On Wednesday, Brother Mateus, um, you know, preached for us and he preached about the power of God in the soul winner's life. That was a great job he did there. I'm behind on uploading the sermons, so I'm going to get those up here uh, this week, as well as the sermons on Sunday. I just haven't gotten around to it, but um, I'll do that here this week. And um, on Sunday, then, I continue to preach through Romans 10. And I talk about the zeal of Israel and um, or being zealous without knowledge. And I talked about, um, you know, there's this poll that was done, Perceived Religiosity, um, from tourists visiting various countries. And the top three most religious countries, according to tourists, were number one, Israel, number two, Saudi Arabia, number three, India. And this was just done at the beginning of 2020. Now, number one, Israel, I presume it's because there's so many biblical sites there that when people go, they, they feel, you know, um, you know, it's really religious there. I'm not really sure how religious they are over there now, but realize being religious doesn't mean necessarily God. So, you know, at the Wailing Wall, there's probably a lot of people that are going like this, you know, during the week. So, I don't know, maybe they are very religious over there. I've never been there, but probably because of all the biblical sites. Saudi Arabia has Mecca, which is a big pilgrimage they do. And I know someone who, we had someone out of church for several months who works over there, and they talked about how they would just shut down all businesses to pray five times a day, so they're very zealous. And in India, I expected it to be number one. Obviously, all of their idols, they're very zealous. What's great about the Philippines is it's very um, religious, but it's also very receptive to the gospel, which I really doubt Israel, Saudi Arabia, or India would be. And so, you know, we, we talk about that, the zeal of, of Israel. And then also the other sermon I preached 
on Sunday was Fundamental Family Tips on Fathers. And so that was, that was great as we're just kind of going through that. Next week we're going to go through Mothers. And so things are going great at our church. Um, just continue to pray for our church. And things are going great. And we hope to continue it in um, the rest of 2021. Thank you and God bless.